if you want to know how you can make your own Roblox revive system in studio, you're going to have to watch this video all of the to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can make a revive system in Roblox Studio. And what that means for example if you die someone else can save you by running up to you by holding E for 5 seconds on your character with a prompt saying revive and then after that you will get respawned at the place of death. So this is the epic tutorial um, I made for today. And I really hope you're going to enjoy this tutorial, and if you do, make sure to give it a like if you like it. If you don't like it, please dr drop a dislike on the video if you don't like it, because that really helps me out a lot, because... Yes. And, if you want to become a member, press the blue join button down below, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell. And all I can say is that without further ado, let's get right into this tutorial. So, I have a little bit else planned for today. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try something new with the video. So, uh, yeah, please let me know in the comments what you think of it. So, before we start the video, make sure to go to Player's Service over here and make sure to change the respawn time to zero and disable character auto loads. So, what we're going to do now is, first of all, we need to make a remote event in replicated storage. So, we're going to create a remote event and we're going to name it Handler. And what this remote event will do, for example, you cannot revive yourself, so we're going to disable the prompt for you. So if we go to service script service, we need to make a script and we're going to call this script the server. And then after that, we're going to go to starter GUI. We're going to create a local script and then we're going to rename that to client. And now what we're going to be doing is we are going to program this. As I said, I'm going to try something new out. So let's see what you guys think of it.
So as you can see, I am in a two-player world right now on my computer. And what I'm going to do, this is player two. So player two is going to walk away. And I am going to reset myself. So three, two, one, boom. As you can see, I just ragdoll. And I don't respawn. So as you can see, I'm now ragdolled. I am dead now. So this player can walk up to them. And as you can see, there will be a proximity prompt with revive. And as you can see, this player cannot see it. Only this one can. As you can see, I'm walking around them. Only I can see it. So if I hold E on this person, let's do that. Okay, I, ha I have to hold it for five continuous seconds. And then after that, boom, I am alive. And as you can see, the other player gets respawned because I revived them. So now let's get this player to die. Oops, I just died. Now, let's just revive them because I can. So, boom. And as you can see, the player will be back wherever they died. As you can see, this is me. Hello. And now you're probably thinking, what happens if both of them die? Okay. As you can see, you will still see the prompt. But watch. If I hold E on this person. And after five seconds. As you can see, nothing happens. Because the game knows, hey, they're both dead. We cannot revive them. So this is how to make a revive system in your Roblox game. And if this... If this tutorial really helped you out, make sure to support me by giving a like. And if you don't like it, please give a dislike on the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell. And make sure you become a member by pressing the blue join button down below if you want to. And all I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say peace out.